Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. Today I'm doing this MDF board that I got from Archangels Art Studio. They have a YouTube channel and a website that you can get your board from. Don't forget to wear your respirator. I am using the Color Cottage Mica Pigments today. I'm using white and gray. I already mixed up my pigments. I'm using stone coat resin. It is a mixture of one part hardener to one part resin. I stir it together for three minutes and then I put a scoop of mica pigment, like I said, from the color cottage in there. As you can see, I am just rubbing it in with my glove. And I'm only doing half the board with white. And then I um, put in a little bit of white in with this gray, because I wanted it a lighter gray. So I stirred in the white and the gray together. And I want it to kind of fade from real light gray to a darker gray from white to light gray to dark gray that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> but that's what i'm that's what i want to do and don't forget to do your sides a lot of people ask me how i do my sides i just do them as i'm going so if you see i just grab the pigment that i'm using and i kind of just do the sides as i'm going Or I'll even scoop it up off the table sometimes and use that to do my sides. So here comes the dark gray. And I'm gonna do the same technique. Just rubbing it in with my hand. When I heat it up, I'm gonna to try to blend them all together so it it's not such like a distinct bold line I try to always remember to wear two pairs of gloves that way when I take my glove off I have a clean hand to work with it just helps it helps me anyway so I'm gonna heat this up with my heat gun and try to blend these colors all together So when I use my heat gun, I try to get the colors to basically um, blend into each other. So I'm doing like figure eights and moving it around quite a bit, trying to push the pigment into each other, just so it blends. That'll help um, the transition from the white to the gray and to the dark gray. So I'm just going to flip my board over right now. And I do have some liquid gold leaf. It's really cool, right? And I'm going to put the liquid gold leaf on right now. I'm just going to put it on with a tongue depressor. I'm just going to kind of drip it on wherever I think, you know, it would look good. I have something in my mind that I want to do. It doesn't always come out that way, but I'm hoping it does this time. I absolutely love, love, love liquid gold leaf. It is so pretty. You guys got to see this in person. It doesn't, like, when I look through the camera and see it, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for me. But, damn, in person, it is stunning. It's, like, popping. You guys would love this liquid gold leaf. 
I wish the camera would pick up all the stuff that um, like resin gives you because it's so pretty. Okay, so I did the lines with the gold leaf, but I'm thinking it needs a little bit more. So I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit to thicken these lines up a little bit and move that gold around. I think it needs a little bit more too. So I guess I'll be adding it a little by little as we go. So I let the gold leaf run down the board to give it a soft, flowy look. And now I'm gonna add a bunch more up top because I want it pretty heavy up there. So again, I'm just applying it with the tongue depressor and I am applying it um, just a little bit heavier up top. I'm sorry, my arm's in the way. There you go. Now you can see the shimmer and the shine and the gold leaf a little bit there. In person, it's so much better, you guys. It's just so pretty.
So now I'm just getting little drops of gold, the liquid gold leaf, and I am just doing droplets to make it look like the liquid gold is actually like dripping off. I don't know. I just need, I thought it needed something. So this is what it looks like for now. And as I'm sitting there looking at it, I came up with this pretty good idea. At least I think it is. You'll see in a minute. So I'm showing you the board. And now I'm going to add some crystals. And it takes me... <laughs> hours to do this because I have big fingers and I'm working with little tiny crystals. It kind of drove me nuts. But I love the end result and I hope you do too. And if you liked my video, please give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications on my next video. If you need any supplies for your resin art, please click on the link below underneath my description. It will take you to my Amazon and you can click on any link and I actually get credit for it and it supports my channel. Thank you so much, everybody. I forgot to tell you, I did use Gorilla Glue. Um, it is a super glue that I'm using and it dries in seconds to glue these rhinestones on. So here's the finished piece. I hope you like it. Come on, Duke. You want to go for a walk? Get up. <laughs>